Welcome to a video on my 5 favourite events for Total War historical titles. These are all here for a variety of reasons. Some of them because they're fun, some of them because they change the gameplay, and some of them because they're interesting or add a challenge. I don't like the annoying ones though. Stuff like Rome 2 Total War the Civil War, stuff like Thrones of Britannia when all the Viking hordes spawn around you and invade. Those, you know, I do get some fun out of them, but I find them a little bit too annoying, so they are not going to be on the list. Let's start this one off with number 5, and it's oddly one from Thrones of Britannia, and it's a, it's a very small one. When you play as a Viking faction, you get to send out expeditions, and it's shown as like a slideshow presentation sort of thing with message pop-ups. You get to choose what direction you want to go in, uh, make some decisions, and eventually you do get a small reward out of it. When I first uh, started playing uh, Thrones of Britannia, I thought this was a really good mechanic. This was something I really liked. It had a bit of a separate story outside of a main campaign where you can explore new land. I really liked it really. It, it was really fun. But the reason why it's only on 5th is because it had a lot of potential, but they didn't really make the most of it. The expeditions got repetitive eventually. There was no like clear logic sort of thing. Like, like it, it sort of needed like a map so you can see where you actually are. I wanted to, uh, for example, explore west to try and discover the Americas and Greenland, but I think I, I, I don't know. It put me on like Iceland or something. It was weird. It was really weird. And also the rewards were very small, I can't even remember what they were. But if they had like some really massive rewards, uh, more decisions to make, a real intricate system with a map, then this could have definitely been on the top one or two. I really liked this system. Number 4 is for Attila Total War, and this one is the changing of seasons. Now I really liked this. What happens is, um, of course farms, there's two different types of food production. There's food production that you just get in general, and there's another one that depends on fertility. As the game progresses, the world becomes uh, much cooler, and fertility drops in many areas. Which means, as the game goes on, uh, managing your food becomes much, much harder, and you get less money out of it as well, so it's quite a big impact. Especially if you're like in the north, and you sort of depend on food quite a lot and the fertility just drops down to nothing. Can be really difficult. And it's sort of like, it gets you to change up your campaign, like swap some buildings around, um, like change your settlements around a bit to adapt to a new uh, climate. Overall, I do really enjoy this mechanic. My one issue is, it just doesn't seem to stop. Like, at the start for the first 50 turns, 75 turns, 100 turns, it's fun, you're changing up, but eventually it just becomes a bit too rough and like nowhere's got fertility at all, everywhere's dead. Once it gets to a point where it's not even historically accurate, it's so ridiculous, that's where it gets a little bit annoying. But yeah, overall I loved the system and I'll be happy to see it again. If it was reworked a little bit, I'll be happy to see it again in future titles. Number 3, Medieval 2 Total Wars. Crusade or Jihad mechanic. I do really kind of like this, even now it does not feel repetitive. What I like about it is it gets you out of a tricky situation. If you're like struggling financially or you just don't know where to go uh, and expand and or whatever is going on. It's just a chance for a fresh start to your campaign. You don't pay upkeep on the army and you start a new empire somewhere elsewhere. It makes you a lot of money, you get a lot of good traits out of it, good retinue, and it makes the campaign so much more enjoyable. So yeah, that's the simple reason why I like it. It just provides a fresh start to your campaign. Oh, and the extra movement and cheap mercenaries too. Brilliant. Number 2, another one for Medieval 2 Talk to War. I just really like the event system in that game. Uh, but this one, it's actually the Black Death. <laughs> Not one I expected, but I love it when the Black Death hits. For the same reasons why I like the Attila Talk to War climate change mechanic. 
it all of a sudden it shakes up your campaign. Money drops uh, by quite a bit. Generals start to die. Troops start to die. And yeah, it lasts for about I think four turns. And it's just brilliant to see it spread and you try and like hold it back. It's a different enemy. You used to having like actual enemy armies attack things you can see, but all of a sudden it's like some ghost enemy that's attacking you and definitely hitting your population and finances uh, quite brutally. And then after that, you're sort of like building your way back up to your to the point you were at before. So yeah, it's like the, the ultimate Total War natural disaster sort of thing, I think. There's no other natural disaster like it in Total War. In a way, the slowing down also does kind of give you a fresh start. Even though it weakens your position, yeah, it weakens the AI as well, so it does sort of give you a fresh uh, start to the campaign. Like, there's pre-Black Death Medieval 2 Total War and post-Black Death. It's sort of a completely different era. Sort of like Marvian reforms in Rome Total War. Once you get them, the game is a completely different game. Your strategies are different, everything's different. That didn't make it onto the list because I do like it, but there's really not that much to it when you really think about it. You know, if you're playing as a Roman faction, all of a sudden the game's too easy, which I don't like in, uh, with an event. Um, and if you're fighting against the Romans, all of a sudden your troops don't really stand much of a chance. Uh, well, they kind of do, but kind of don't. It makes it much harder, but in a way that I don't like. And number one, my favourite event in Total War. Again, from Medieval 2, and that's the arrival of the Mongols. I also kind of like the Timurids as well, but especially the Mongols, because they hit earlier. Usually around turn 40 to turn 60, the Mongols will arrive. Most times they hit in the Middle East, sometimes it's more in the Russia region. And it's just fun to have to deal with them, like building forts, having to uh, build up your settlements a little bit in the Middle East. Chances are you don't be in the Middle East somewhere, because uh, even if you're a European faction, you don't have crusaded into that like to take Cairo and then you'll be moving up for Jerusalem and all that. It turns Medieval 2 Total War into a tower defence game, which I do also like. It's just a load of armies that start pouring into your land, but they are the aggressors, they're putting you under siege, which means you're more likely to be fighting more defensive siege battles, which are the most fun battles of them all, I think. I love a good defensive siege battle and you'll be fighting a lot of them against the Mongols and the Timurids. And that's sort of all I've got to say, really. Those are my top five favourite events in Total War. There's many other events in the game, Gunpowder, Rome 2 Civil War, stuff like that, but Gunpowder, I just don't, I just don't really enjoy it that much uh, compared to uh, the standard melee warfare. And as for Rome 2 Civil War, that's just annoying. I do like Rome 1 Total War Civil War, uh, that, that was very close to being on the list. My only issue with that though, the only reason it did not make it is because it's only for three factions, Julii, Brutii, Scipii, and all the others you don't get to experience for Civil War. Every other thing on this list, Mongols, Crusade, uh, Black Death, Attila Total War Season Change, this is experienced by all the factions. The Thrones of Britannia one, uh, where you discover new land as a Viking faction like Dublin, that's just there more because it's just because of how unique I found it to be. But either way, all this video has been is an, a list of opinions. By all means, please feel free to list your opinions down below. Usually they do differ from mine, and that's fine. Of course, there's so many events in Total War, a lot of people's will differ by quite a bit. If you have enjoyed though, please do subscribe and like, and share with anyone you think may be interested. I've been Melkor, until the next one, goodbye.